Hello my chariots, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a pick a card reading and we are going to take a look at your person's head and heart space. How is your person thinking and feeling about you today? So I have three piles. Uh, they are all raw, raw uh, crystals. Two I just purchased yesterday. So for pile one, we have this first one here. This is beautiful citrine, okay? And it's filled with the beautiful uh, yellowish, orange, white colors. Uh, very pretty. For pile two, we have celestite. This is, uh, I love the sparkly light blue color that runs throughout this stone. And then another one I purchased yesterday, this is Spirit Quartz, and this is a very light purple. Um, it is in the Amethyst family, there's other names for it, uh, but this is a, the, the way the color uh, appears, it's a very light glittery uh, purple, and this is called Spirit Quartz, so this is for pile three. Uh, so those are your piles. Pause the video, do what you have to do to pick your pile. If you're drawn to one more than one, that's fine. That just might mean there's messages in other piles for you to hear. And if nothing resonates with you um, as well, that's, that's okay too. That just means that this reading wasn't picking up on your energy, so you can just move on. The reading's not for you. I just want to say thank you to everyone again that's been so supportive of me. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share my videos, and without further ado, let's get started. Hello Pile One, you picked the beautiful citrine stone, this raw citrine piece, okay? Citrine represents the energy of the sun, so that feeling of optimism, that feeling of hope and warmth and positivity, uh, that's what citrine is all about. As a, a crystal itself, it's a beautiful cleansing stone. It actually cleans itself, so it's one of those stones that you don't have to clean. Uh, it's, it'll take care of that on its own, but it's a beautiful beautiful um, yellowish oranges brown and white colors you know with the speckles throughout it um, and it's really pretty so that's the stone that you were drawn to so right off the bat I'm thinking that your person um, admires the optimism and the positive um, enlightenment that um, you bring to your person pile one but let's draw some tarot cards and see what your person is thinking and feeling okay today I'm using the uh, beautiful uh, romantic tarot okay so let's see this is for pile one spirit what is pile one's person thinking about when it comes to them for pile one please what is their person thinking about when it comes to them this connection this relationship their partnership the situation whatever it is that they are in at the moment okay Ooh, we have the fool We have, what is that? The Page of Wands and the Nine of Cups. All right, and then let's also ask, what is their person feeling when it comes to Pile One? in this situation, this connection, what is it that their heart feels, spirit? This is the Knight of Swords. This is the Six of Wands. 
and this is the king of cups all right the overall energy is the magician wow and then i am also going to get some spirit this is the spirit animal deck spirit of animals this is colette baron reed's deck and see what else here for pile one please what is it that their person is thinking and feeling when it comes to this connection this relationship this situation we have the panther spirit and the horse spirit okay and on the bottom of the deck, we have the butterfly spirit. So, pile one, let's start out. What is your person thinking about when it comes to you and your connection? What is your person thinking about? Well, they are thinking about how they wanna take this leap of faith. We start off here with the fool the beginning of the journey okay this is the first card in the tarot zero zero is the power of nothing it's that newness it's taking that leap it's it's that energy of risk okay this person is willing to take a risk a lot of times the fool is described as naive because they don't know what they're getting into, but they're willing to take that risk despite what the outcome is. And that is what your person, Pile One, is currently thinking, that they want to take this leap of faith. We have these doves, these white doves that surround this fool in this picture. Um, And he's wearing a pink suit, which shows me that that is representing the heart chakra and the white doves that are just flocking around him shows me the, the innocence and the purity of, of this, uh, this idea, this, this new beginning that this person wants to take. And there's romance in this person's heart because on his head he's wearing a bouquet of flowers. And he also has on his suit, um, his um, boutonniere is a sunflower, which represents happiness and joy. Like this person just wants to jump right in and get started. We also have this is the page of wands so the page represents messages this person wants to come forward uh, this person finds you very beautiful very attractive this man this this uh, masculine energy he's walking down the street with his cane he's in a top hat and he has um, a red jacket on he's carrying a bouquet of flowers the lamp post here is basically a nude woman and he is looking at that woman so pile one i'm getting the um i'm i'm hearing that this person is very attracted to you that you are constantly on their mind um they feel that uh I'm hearing they just, they love your figure. This woman's very uh, curvy. Sh she looks actually very voluptuous and your person uh, sees that and admires that about you. Uh, this person carries a bouquet of flowers again. So again, there's this sense of romance and love that is stirring within this person. Um, in these two pictures and then we also have here the nine of cups and the nine of cups is all about contentment and that self-fulfillment and happiness
but I am looking at this picture and the way the Nine of Cups is to play, uh, being portrayed or depicted here. If you just take a look at this couple's face and this man has his arms around her and the woman is holding the cup. This woman is holding the cup, but they are both wearing masks. So I'm hearing that this is a connection that no one might know about. Or pile one, you feel this way about your person and you're not telling them. Or they feel this way about you, but yet you're unsure because Let's see, the masculine energy in this card, he's actually smiling and he looks very happy behind his mask. But the feminine energy, she looks serious and she's holding onto this cup as if she's wondering, if she's wondering. So are you wondering, pile one, perhaps you are unsure of how this person feels. But we also have here, panther spirit, reclaim your power. So I also see this as a, um, this is number 44. That reduces to eight in tarot. That's the strength card. Again, all about standing in your power. But when I look at this panther spirit, I get, I get the same type of energy I get from this, uh, the wands, the page of wands. There's fire here in this person. There's desire, there's willpower, and there's two fours here. So that can also be about both of you standing in the, that emperor power, taking charge, just like it says here, reclaiming your power. The eyes on this panther are intense, right? There's this deep, intense connection that's going on here. And when it comes to feelings, we have the number 33 card and, and the 33, 33 is the Empress. So we have Empress and Emperor here. When you look at it that way, you know, this power couple and 33 reduces to six, which is the lover's card. And this is horse spirit. It's all about freedom is yours. I feel pile one that your person thinks that you, um, They can feel that you make them free and alive. I can tell why the, the way this horse's hair is flowing. And hair means wisdom. And even looking at this card, the eyes of this horse look very beautiful. So your person finds you very, your eyes are very beautiful, a pile one. But there's something here like a power couple that is the, the intensity that's being felt. And when it comes to their feelings, you just make them feel alive and free. Now we also have here the page of swords, the page. So another message or, you know, speaking of communication, I believe that your person has clarity. They're holding this um, candelabra up as their light, as their lantern, and that's following the um, their intuition. This page is wearing blue. Okay, he has a blue vest on and a ribbon wrapped around uh, the sword. So that's about clarity and truth. So your person has clarity when it comes to this uh, situation, this connection that they feel that there's a, a truth that they want to communicate to you. And I, I think it's the Six of Wands here. The Six of Wands is all about victory and success. They want this. They feel in their heart that they want this uh, relationship to work. They want this connection to thrive. Okay. Again, they're sitting in this red boat and the woman has a red umbrella up. So there's the passion again that is fueling between the both of you. 
And then also here, the King of Cups for feelings. This person has very deep feelings for you. Very deep feelings of love. He's pouring a liquid into his cup. His cup is large. The thing about the King of Cups is they understand their feelings uh, and they know exactly how they feel inside, but they don't always express it. The, the king is very, he can be very, um, the king of cups, aloof at times. So, you know, if you, you look at this king, he has this very straight face. And it could be because when you look at this woman, she's wondering, oh my God, I don't know. I don't know what's going on because this person doesn't really show it. This person doesn't really show it, but deep down inside, uh, the feelings of love are, are there. They're deep and they're, they are real. The overall energy is the magician. So this person wants to manifest this relationship, this connection. They want to manifest it into something new. We also have the Knight of Pentacles here. And he, they want to take their time with this is what I'm hearing. They want to work on things slowly. I see the green again, which represents the heart chakra. So there we are with the feelings of love. We have this white horse, which represents purity and uh, just the simplicity, the honesty, how they feel. Uh, you know, and this night I'm looking at is dropping his pentacles into this water fountain okay so he's dropping his pentacles in because he wants this to happen all right this is something that he wants to ground that he wants it to become a real he's focused on it and he is determined and overall here then on the bottom of the deck is butterfly so i feel that your person has gone through this beautiful transformation okay we have the number 11 card here 11 represents um that's the justice card all about finding peace and harmony and balance and going through this just beautiful change i feel that from meeting you pile one your person just feels like they have gone through a complete change within themselves so let's pull from my picture here and see what else it is that we can get from this reading regarding your person today. All right. And let me just see here. All right. Okay, numbers, letters, all right, so for letters we have the letter A, Z, K, Y, and G. And for numbers, we have the number 10. We have the number nine. We have the number one. We have the number 30. We have the number four. And we have the number 11. And let's see, zodiac wise, we have Gemini and Capricorn and then some we have loyal so your person thinks you're very loyal pile one talkative you can be very chatty especially if you're a Gemini confident you feel they feel that you are confident and you're very cooperative pile one so those are some of the traits that your person sees in you and then Let's just pick some charms and see if anything resonates for you. Okay, we have the amethyst crystal. The amethyst is all about peace and harmony 
and it helps with your intuition. It's a very spiritual stone. So some of you, obviously, if you're watching this, may be spiritual. You feel at peace. We have green here again, this little green donut, which again is the heart chakra for me, representing the heart chakra. So this person feels for you. We have the wizard hat. So they may find that you are very intuitive, pile one. They may think that you have some spiritual abilities, some psychic abilities. We have a mask here. So again, in this picture, both of you are wearing masks. So I feel that maybe you two have not come forward and really have discussed these feelings with one another. And that's why the pages are here for messages for communication. We have this little heart here. So again, representing love. Your person feels the love for you, pile one. We have the Christmas wreath here. So keep that in mind. Either something may resonate with you having to do with this person with Christmas or something special can happen this Christmas. I have the American flag here. So that can be... Um, can resonate with some of you. Maybe your person or you uh, are in one of the armed forces or uh, are very patriotic and supports uh, this country or it means something to them. And then we also have the dolphin ring here. So the fact that we have a ring here shows me that your person is thinking about the next step forward. And then with the dolphin, they find you very playful. They like the type of relationship that the both of you have. So that is your reading for today, Pile One. Um, I hope it resonated and I will see you again soon. Bye. Hello, Pile Two. You picked this beautiful light blue celestite stone. Uh, celestite is a very spiritual uh, stone. It connects you to the angelic realms. It helps with your dreams. Uh, it also brings a lot of peace. It's a very calming stone. So I feel that if you um, picked this, your person thinks that you are very uh, calming to them. Um, there's something about your nature that uh, they feel very uh, connected to you in some spiritual way, but yet in a very calming manner. You calm them is what I'm hearing. So today we're looking at what your person, what their headspace and heart space is. How is your person thinking and feeling when it comes to you? So we are going to ask spirit those questions. This is for pile two, please, spirit. What does their person, how does their person think and feel about them at this time? This is for pile two, please. How does pile two's person think and feel when it comes to them? All right. The two of pentacles. The Empress, the Three of Wands, and how do they feel? This is the Wheel. Wheel of Fortune, <laughs> the Nine of Wands, and the Queen of Swords. Okay, the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Wands. Hmm, and then let me pick two cards from this is the Spirit of the Animals. 
Today I'm using the Romantic Tarot. And this is the Spirit of the Animals for Colette Baron Reeves cards. This is for pile two, please. How is their person thinking and feeling when it comes to them and their connection, the situation, their relationship? <clears throat> we have the White Raven Spirit. And we have Lizard Spirit. All right, on the bottom of the deck, we have the Dog Spirit. Okay, pile two. How is your person thinking and feeling? Well, obviously, right off the bat, I'm drawn to the Empress here. So they are thinking, they, they know that you are the Empress to them. They find you extremely beautiful. They find you extremely loyal. We have the dog here in the background. You're in the, uh, this empress is wearing this beautiful white dress. So they see uh, the purity and the innocence when it comes to you. Uh, we have the green carpet that's running. Uh, the empress is all about creation and abundance and fertility. Uh, we have this actually dog with the two puppies. So this is a mother dog. So very, um, you know, they see you as that ultimate partner to have a family with. Uh, this woman has beautiful long hair. The, the long hair represents wisdom in tarot. So they find that you are very uh, intellectual. You are very smart. But uh, they just know right off the bat that you are the one. We have here white uh, raven spirits and two sixes. Sixes represent uh, the lover's tarot. That represents unconditional love. And the white raven spirit, trust in the magic. I mean, they just believe that, you know, this is magic. Like they can't believe that they have found someone like you. Uh, we also have the two of pentacles here. Uh, I'm just looking at this card and the two of pentacles is all about uh, juggling different things. So your person seems to also have a lot on their mind besides you, the Empress. There seems to be something that they have been juggling, whether there's a lot going on within themselves at work, whether there is a money situation that they're dealing with right now. But they also seem to, we have the Three of Wands here. Now, the Three of Wands is all about waiting for the, that right opportunity, waiting for those ships to come in to present this moment. Um, but in this card for the Three of Wands, there's this woman in this beautiful blue dress surrounded by three men. And one is standing in the back. He's holding flowers, a bouquet of flowers, as if he wants to give this person, uh, this woman, this the divine feminine energy here, uh, these flowers. But he hasn't yet. So I feel like he's waiting for that right opportunity. I don't know, Pile 2. Um, there's three people here, so I don't know if uh, you or your person um, someone's involved with a third party situation a third party other are there other options out there for you pile two that maybe your person is wondering about this could also be what is on their mind what they're juggling what they're unsure of and they're looking for answers but we have the lizard spirit here when it comes to feelings dream the world dream the world into being so they are dreaming an awful lot about you pile uh, two 
we also have here the number 10 okay this is the wheel this is all about destin destiny it's about fate so something's changing this wheel is turning um this couple that's sitting in front of this um ferris wheel you know they're both wearing blue so i feel that there's some sort of truth there's some sort of clarity that's coming through here and with number 10 10 is completion completion you know completion of a cycle something's about to change new beginnings are about to occur and maybe um uh your person is finally feeling this that they have clarity okay they have clarity uh there's nine of wands here okay so it the nine of wands is all about standing in that power it's the nine of wands is that wounded warrior it's all about perseverance so i feel that um your person now there's a couple here and then someone standing behind these gates so it's almost like and i see a lot of the red in the car to represent the passion so I feel that your person has a lot of passion and desire, very attracted to you, Pile 2, uh, very attracted to you. And they don't want to give up about something. You know, I feel with this other person behind the gate, it's like they're kind of standing in this power where they don't want to give up on their dreams. They don't want to give up on their dreams. We also have the Queen of Swords here. And the Queen of Swords, again, is all about truth and clarity this queen is very blunt she speaks her mind um, but she can um, she says what she has to say she gets it off of her chest she can have a sharp tongue at times but she speaks her truth so there's something here your person is feeling like they have this clarity about a situation Let me just pull a card on what it is that they have clarity on. What does Pile 2's person have clarity on when it comes to this Queen of Swords? What are they having clarity about? The King of Wands. Well, they're having clarity about how how they feel so deeply for you um, the king of wands is that charismatic inspiring king this is the king that takes action and you know the overall energy which i haven't mentioned yet is the ace of wands and this ace of wands you have to uh this i mean it shows a, a wand um holding a garter so this person has a lot of sexual passionate energy for you a lot of attraction to you for you uh -huh. and the king of wands is is what they're finding you know what they're gaining clarity in um and the king of wands is a, a mature energy so they they know what they want they're stable uh they're charismatic they're inspiring this is leo energy uh but um They have clarity that you are their empress uh, and then we have the dog spirit here as well as overall energy again number 19 reduces to 10 that's all about completion uh, and with the dog spirit it, it, it's showing that they want to be loyal they are very loyal to you pile two uh, and they admire your friendship as well as well so let's see what else we can get from my picture here. Okie dokie. All right. All right, so we have a letter K, 
That's all we have for letters. For numbers, we have the number one, and we have the number 17, and the number six, and then we have quiet, stubborn, We have a warrior here, which reminds me of this Nine of Wands, this wounded warrior that we saw. Did we see it in this pile or no? Did we not? I thought I did, but maybe we didn't. Oh yeah, no, wait, this is the Three of Wands, okay. And then we have happy, so they're feeling happy. They might think that you're quiet or they're, they've been quiet, okay? And they're, they're not speaking about this. They feel like they could be a warrior, all right? That they're standing in their power. They feel that they're being called pile two and they find balance with you. They find balance with you, pile two. So let's pick some charms and see what we get when it comes to the charms here. So this is um, a golden orange uh, sea glass crystal. So to me, this represents, you know, the orange, the you know, it's almost in between uh, the sacral and the solar plexus chakra. So those two chakras come to mind. Again, we have the sacral chakra here. The Ace of Wands, I do feel that there's a lot of um, passion and drive and willpower towards you, Pile to A new beginning that this person wants to take with this Ace of Wands here. Uh, Again, the dog comes up. So there's, there's again, representing the loyalty that this person feels towards you, pile two. Uh, balance, again. So we have here, I, I find balance with you. And then we have the, the, um, the yin-yang symbol. This is uh, the yin-yang. And they find balance with you. What else? Uh, we have the sloth here. So they could be taking things slow. All right, they're moving slowly as they try to figure this all out. Uh, we have the wolf here, all right? So that almost reminds me of this warrior type um, energy that, you know, they can be in the quietness that, you know, your person can be a loner um, and they're just kind of like a leader of, you know, wolves can be a leader and then they can also go off by themselves. You know, they can lead a pack and then they can also be independent as well. So that may describe your person. Um, oh, we have the clover here. So your person may be feeling that you have just brought them that prosperity, that abundance, just like the Empress energy. You know, that creation, that abundance, that luck. And we also have a pirate symbol here. So again, the pirate may resonate with you in some way, or it's more that warrior type energy of taking charge. And then we also have here, you know, this dolphin. I feel that your person can be very playful, be very playful as well. So Pile 2, I hope that resonated with you in some way, and I will see you again soon. Bye. Hello, Pile 3, my chariots. You picked Spirit's Quartz here. The Spirit Quartz. This is a beautiful stone. Now, I just purchased this yesterday, and when I got home, I didn't realize, don't ask me why, <laughs> how phallic this looks. Um... So, if you picked this stone, I am guessing your person, Pile 3, is highly attracted to you. We will start off there. But we will pull some cards, tarot cards, to get started and see. We are asking Spirit today how your person is thinking and feeling about you when it comes to 
this relationship, this connection, this partnership that you're in. The Spirit Quartz is a very uh, calming stone. It's a very peaceful and it's a very uh, spiritual. It's like amethyst. So if you were drawn to it, that could be why. Um, but like I said, the shape has me laughing. So I feel that there's a lot of passion. But let's, let's pull some tarot cards and see. What spirit can you tell us about Pile Three's person? What are they thinking and feeling when it comes to this connection, please? We have the Page of Wands. We have the High Priestess. And we have the Five of Wands. All right. And for feelings, how does this person feel about Pile Three? Pile Three's person, how do, how do they feel when it comes to this connection? The Six of Pentacles. The Empress, wow, beautiful. And the Ten of Pentacles, wow. On the bottom of the deck, the Emperor. Someone is standing in their power. And let's pull, this is Spirit of the Animal. Let's pull it Baron Reed's deck today. Did I say I was using, it? Um, this is the Romantic Tarot that I'm using today. I like this deck. It's very Victorian, very romantic looking. But let's also pull some spirit animal cards, please. This is for pile three. How is pile three's person thinking and feeling when it comes to this connection? Panther spirit. Ooh, this was in pile one and white raven spirit, and that was in pile two. How odd, on the bottom of the, oh my God. And this was in pile two. The dog spirit, wow. Okay, that is so interesting. Well, okay. So overall pile three, what is your person thinking and feeling? I mean, we have the Emperor that's jumping out right away with the Six of Cups right behind it, okay? So I'm immediately getting that this person is thinking about how they are trying to stand in their power when it comes to this relationship. They feel very strong. They want to be strong for you, Pile 3, is what I'm hearing. And we have the Six of Cups right behind it. The, the Six of Cups is the soulmate card because it's all about nostalgia. It's about reconciliation. This person wants to reconcile with you, Pile 3. If there's any kind of um, issue, they also want, if it's not a reconciliation now, that just means reconciling from the past because this is the soulmate's card. This is... Uh, someone who has feelings that they've known you for a very long time whether it's from childhood or past lives you know it's that deep feeling that deep connection of knowing someone um, from feeling like they've known them you know before that feeling of home or feeling of you know that deja vu type of a feeling where they just feel like, you know, they've connected immediately with you and, and they've known you all along. And it also represents sweet memories and happy memories. This card is showing that in, in, in this depiction, the celebration of sweet, happy memories and enjoying those good times. And, you know, that starts off with this emperor power, uh, full of passion, full of desire, in control, wants authority over this situation. Uh, we also have your person's thinking, this panther spirit. This shows me someone that's hungry. Reclaim your power. The fours again. So this is the emperor here again shining. 
um, shining through, wanting that, stand in that power, wanting to come after what it is that they truly want. Look at this panther's eyes. They look like they have desire. They want to reclaim their power. They want to come after what it is that they want. And when you reduce this card, um, the 44 to 8, that's also the strength card in tarot again. So again, we're talking about strength. Um, <laughs> I started out by talking about the shape of this crystal and then right away what comes out but the page of wands so I'm not surprised by that at all I feel that your person is very attracted to you there's this intense attraction and connection if you look at this um, this man that's walking down the street he wears his red suit with the red tie that's showing his passion he's carrying a bouquet of flowers he's coming towards all right the page is a messenger or they like to give gifts so this person is coming forward and they're coming he's coming towards look he's looking this lamp post is a, a woman and he is looking at this woman intensely um, who he finds extremely beautiful, extremely attractive, walking towards. And um, we have the high priest following, uh, the high priestess. She is the all-knowing. She's very intuitive. You see her here. She's all in blue. She knows the truth. Now, the high priestess doesn't speak, so I'm not sure if this person talks about these feelings that he has. He might keep them hidden. Um, sometimes the high priestess represents secrets but she's all knowing so i feel that this person knows deep down inside what it is they want how they truly feel and in fact i feel that it does give them a lot of inner conflict because we have the five of wands here and uh in this picture of the five of wands the masculine energy is holding the these flowers again behind his back but then there is a bunch of women here that he's unsure who he's going to give them to so i am not sure if this person is committed elsewhere or in other relationships pile three but there's been a lot of inner conflict that has gone on but I feel that that is starting to fade now that this person in the overall energy is here as the emperor. When it comes to feelings, we have the white raven spirit. Okay, trust in the magic. This person believes that this is fate, that this was brought here for a reason. The number six, unconditional love. So we have the number 66 here. Okay, so they believe that this is fate, that this is a destiny. Um, and when you reduce 66, that's reduced to 12, which is all about the hanged man. And the hanged man is that going, um, going within and surrendering to that higher power, on actually gaining that higher knowledge, having that clarity for what um, is truly going on. How does your person feel? They feel like they want to give to you. We have the Six of Pentacles here, which is all about giving and receiving. They want to give to their Empress. They feel that you are their divine counterpart because we have the Empress here. So we have a match. If you take a look, we have the Emperor and the Empress. So your person feels and they know, they know with this white raven spirit energy that you two are our divine counterparts despite despite whatever inner conflict they have been dealing with or battles or drama that has been surrounding them they want to give to the empress okay they have that in their head that they want to offer something to the em empress the empress herself is a very giving person she is compassionate she is understanding she is a uh, beautiful person beautiful energy and your person wants to give that to you pile three we have the ten of pentacles here the ten of pentacles is that happy that happy home life feeling content knowing this person knows again that they could have a very content life with you and when you look at this um 
this picture of tarot you know it shows this couple but i'm just looking you know this woman she's wearing her dress is in green and red which represents the heart chakra and his suit is in blue which represents the throat chakra all about truth uh, all about you know that clarity uh, understanding uh, being authentic to one another both of them know both of them know that um, this is a relationship a partnership a connection that really can make each other happy in fact again we have the dog spirit here they want to be loyal to you they want to be loyal to you pile three number 19 this reduces to 10 in tarot 10 is that wheel it's all about the completion it's about fate it's about destiny and that's what i also feel when i see this white raven spirit card as well uh, and 19 also i'm just thinking represents the sun so there's that energy that masculine energy just like the masculine energy of the emperor this person knows what truly would make them happy they truly know what would make them happy deep within so that is how your person is thinking and feeling let's also pull here from my picture to see what other messages we can get For letters, we have W. That can also be an M, so take that how it resonates. W or M. We have a V. And we have U. It's U. For the number, we have 18. 18. And we have Leo. A lot of fire. Capricorn and Sagittarius and we also have look passion yes they do they certainly have passion for you we have clever okay someone's being clever someone feels earthy you know this earth energy of course this earth energy is here with the Empress and regal regal you know they feel that you are just like royalty to them. Um, the warmth, they feel your warmth. They know how intuitive you are. They know how intuitive you are. And they're saying, forgive me. So if there's anything that happened between the both of you, they're asking for forgiveness. Forgiveness pile three. And then let's end with some charms. Let's see what we can pull out here with some charms. All right. We have an airplane here. So they maybe they're thinking about traveling or travel or they want to travel with you or go on vacation or come towards you. We have the butterfly. Again, a butterfly means transformation. So tr they, you know, and on the back of this, it says laugh daily. So maybe they're thinking about how much you make them laugh pile three, but also your person can be going through a major transformation at this time. Wow, this letter H came up. So here's another letter, letter H, okay and also the dog we see the dog again so they want to be loyal to you pile three they would like to be loyal to you and then we also have the christmas wreath 
this came up I think in pile two too so maybe something with Christmas resonates with you guys if not maybe something is going to happen for this Christmas or Christmas is going to become a memorable time for the both of you and then the mouse we have the little mouse pin here the mouse I always feel the mouse energy they always look for you know they always are going you know they're searching high and low in all the crevices all the nooks and all the crannies of whatever building or home that they're in so I feel that this your person is just searching right now they are searching within themselves you know every nook and cranny of themselves they're searching they're searching for something has this little bow tie too so I was just looking at that bow tie they also have these big ears so I feel like they're listening too. they're opening their ears and maybe they're finally listening to this magic this white raven spirit they're finally hearing what they need to hear so anyway, I hope that resonated with you, Pile 3, in some way, and I will see you again soon. Bye.